You can work with it, hunties. Work with it, girl. Work with it. Work with it. Work with it. Okay. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, you guys? What's up, divas? What's up, Devo? So, there is actually a new sheriff in town, okay? Like, listen, for real, like, I've never heard of this website, never heard of this hair company. They are particularly new. They are the new sheriff in town, and I am excited to do a review. Plus, I was really pleasantly pleased. Like, doesn't that sound cool? Pleasantly pleased. Like, that means I was pleasant about it. It made me happy to receive the wig in the mail. So the company that I'm referring to is called Riri Hair, and this is their packaging, okay? So you get this little cute gold bowl that you can just tie up on your wig and make it look so cute. You know, I did go back and rewrap it because I did actually look at it already. You know what I'm saying? I can't remember. I did pre-pluck it. I didn't bleach the knots, but I did pre-pluck the hairline. Even though it came pre-plucked, you know, we have to, like, customize it and stuff. And so far... So far from what I've seen of the hair quality, it was actually really nice. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was decent. Got this gold inner lining. My thing is gold and silver. That's my theme in my house or downstairs at least. Not here. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just pink. But I was like, okay. All right. And uh, bam. Isn't this cute? Like, you could use this for a mirror after you finish. This is like really cute. This is like solid gold. Like, this is a really nice brush that it came with. Okay, wait until I show you guys how the elastic band is. This is like the bombest ever, seriously, like hands down. So you do get a thank you card for shopping with us at Riri Hair, all right? And, you know, just enjoy your purchase. You can follow them on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook, okay? And then you also do get a wig cap, perfect, because this is the perfect color. This is the one that I need, okay? This is the color. And then you get your stop card, all right? So it does explain to you, please do not cut the lace on the lace front to the full lace, the glueless lace wig before you try it on and make sure that it's for you. Because once you cut the lace, honey, you are not going to be able to turn that. And that's with any wig company. But it does say it's a pre-plucked lace front wig. Um, it's virgin hair, silky straight, and 22 inches, 150% density. The cap construction is a four and a half inch lace parting, and it's a 22 and a half inch head circumference. I do have a light brown lace. And like I said, it was a pre plucked hairline, whole front bleach. So that's the reason why I didn't bleach it because the whole front was already bleached. But I want to show you guys this elastic band that it came with. I was like, when I first seen this, I was like, what the heck? What is this? But then I was like, oh, this is like so inventive, okay? And this is what it looks like right here. So you do get a nice amount of parting. And like I said, I did pre-pluck some of the hairline. You do get the combs right here. And you also get the comb in the back. I like the ones that they give in that's longer in the back. Because, honey, you're going to need more than one for these little ones. At least give us a bigger one or two. Then you got the lace here and then the adjustable strap that's somewhere inside of here we go. First of all, this is the part that I'm excited about. I was like, oh snap, did they really go all out? You see these little hooks right here. You see it. Come on, camera. So these are the actual hooks. I know y'all probably like, uh, what are we about to put a hook abroad to our stuff? No, this is the actual elastic band. Okay. So here is the other portion of it. And oh, look at that. Okay. So these are where you're going to hook them on at. And you can adjust it. Hunties, it has adjustable. So you can remove it, open it up, and remove it. Like, this is so inventive, and it has three hooks. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, if your bra strap break, you can just, like, you know. So I was like, what? This is so freaking nice. And on the side that's going to be against your scalp, you will have like some padding so it's not going to irritate you. I'm not sure if it's going to look bulky, but we're about to see. So you just take it and just put it in there. And see what I'm saying? Like all of this. 
right here is also where you're going to have some padding resting up against your nape. See, I love it. You can remove it. You don't have to keep it in. That's really the part that really excited me the most. So Okay, you guys, so this was really easy to style. I decided to flip it over to the right side and part it. Um, just because I had the baby hairs like really bomb, you know, they're not even baby hairs. I just guess they're wispy hairs because they're not tacked down. I didn't want them tacked down. Like, I don't be wanting it. Listen, listen. I like when they are somewhat pasted to my face, but not always. Like, it be a little bit too much for a girl, you know? And then my face be all tight, like I just got Botox. Like, so I be trying to just, like, do the wispies because I don't need the Botox feel yet. You know, like, it be so tight from the gel or the hairspray with the baby hairs on your face. You just be like, it be so hard to smile. So I just be liking like, you know, a little bit like this. It looks natural. It looks more natural. But I will slick some down. Don't get me wrong. But 
for today's video, I just figured I wouldn't. So, Riri's hair. This hair is nice. It is 150% density. It's a nice wig. And I didn't really tack it down like I normally do. You can still put it up in a ponytail if you want to. You know what I mean? You just have to make sure that the back is covered where the nape is at. The hairline was bleached. Um, The whole frontal portion was bleached by them. And it was pre-plugged. But, you know, I did go in and just do a little bit more. Just So, with the elastic band, make sure that you put push down on those little silver hooks because if you don't they're going to constantly keep coming out of the cap so the wig is actually sitting on really snug more snug than like a normal elastic band it does give a good grip and it does give a nice flat like installation i really should have not wore a dark shirt for this particular video because you could have seen the hair a lot better but i do like the hairline it came out really really decent so new sheriff in town okay riri's hair like i really think they remind me of this other company but i'm just not going to say who i'm just going to keep it to myself because you know I be having my little suspicions about stuff, you know. So I do have a theory about this particular company, but I do know that they have some nice hair. Prices are like, you know, in the middle range, I would say probably like 300 to maybe like in a $200 range, depending on what length you're going for. This shirt is like really driving me crazy. Like I did go change my shirt because it just was too clashing with the dark hair. And I really wanted you guys to be able to see it, like fully see it. But Ruby's hair, so like, honestly, they are a really new to me company. I'm not really sure how long they've been you know, on the world wide web, but they are short term new. They are kind of like new, you know what I'm saying? It's very full and it fits so snug with that elastic band. So kudos to them for that. The way that this elastic band is set up, girl, I don't think your wig is going anywhere. Like seriously, I didn't even need the hooks. This thing is so snug and their packaging and amenities is just as nice as well. So Riri hair, you know what I'm saying? The website is set up really, really nice. That's why I feel like they just resemble someone else. But you know, you guys can check it out and you can be the judge of it. You can definitely follow them on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, okay? And let me know what you think about this one here. What was her name? Because I just totally forgot. This is the RLW01, the RLW01. You know, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check their website out. Let me know your thoughts and such on the new company. I think they did a really good job on this wig. So on that note, I will see you guys in the soon to come video. All the info will be in the box down below. Let me know what you think. Check their website out. Let me know what you think about that. And I'm out.